Hello, welcome to this episode of Beauty Writer Roundup. Over the last three months, I've tried out one, two, three, four, five, six red toning treatments. This was inspired from Maddie's video. If you want to watch that, click here, over there, click over there, don't click over the other side. So what are red toning treatments? Because you can't really neutralize the blue out of the red, that would be, you know, on the color wheel opposite. I hope you get my gist. Red toning treatments will deposit deposit red pigment into your hair. So your hair looks more vibrant and fresh in between your salon visits. So the good thing about the ones that I've selected, they are all treatments as well. So if you're like me, you're in the salon a lot, bleaching your hair constantly, your hair needs all the hydration it can get. This is kind of like a two in one, you know, you're making your hair shiny, brand new, spanking, love that, and you're hydrating it. So I'm going to go through them in the order I use them, and at the end, I'll let you know which one were my faves. First, I use the Mrs. Smith Ruby Red. With these treatments, there are a few different ways to use them, like some, some say to use before shampoo, some say to use after, conditioner, blah, blah, blah. Enhance, maintains, and extends hair color. This one's really easy to use. You only leave it in your hair for about two to three minutes, which is quite quick for a red toning thing. Afterwards, you rinse it with water. I like that this one didn't stain my hands. Very little color came off when I rinsed it out of my hair. Quick, easy to use, more of a violet to you red. The color payoff for this one was more subtle. Because it's only two or three minutes you leave in your hair, you could really replace your conditioner with this and use it instead. So the next one was the Weller Professionals Color Refresh Mask. I actually tried this one twice because I wasn't too sure how I felt about it the first time. So this one is to be applied onto shampooed hair before conditioning. You have to leave it on for 10 minutes and with this one, you need to use a glove or your hands will be stained red. So this is actually a hair glossening treatment to help enhance shine. I like that the product itself is very thick and very if you take it out, it's violety, like it's straight up purpley. I find that the more purple a product looks, the color payoff is better for your hair. Unless you want an orangey red. Unless you want an orangey red, then I guess, yeah. My hair color and shine looked great afterwards. The only thing is I didn't find it as hydrating as the others. For me, it was not worth the 10 minute wait and then the conditioning after. It's just, I'm a lazy gal. Next one I used was the Goldwell Color Revive Color Giving Conditioner. This one can be popped on shampooed wet hair. I also used this one twice. It smells great, no need to use gloves. Leave it on for two to five minutes. I found that this one gave me more of like a brownie red, which is why I used it twice because I was like, oh, this is natural. The hydration with this one is good, but for my hair, I added on extra conditioner because I needed it. Very airy, very light. Um, the product smells great as well. Light airy is easier to work through the hair, but I find that light airy sometimes isn't as good of a color payoff. But with the Goldwell, because I notice it more brown red, I do think it made a solid difference mm. in my hair. No. Yeah. Yeah. Good color. Next one I road tested was the Own M Clean Tone Red Color Treatment. I like this packaging. It's very like paint swatch. This one is to be applied onto wash or towel dried hair. Use gloves. If you want more of a light red, leave it on for three minutes. If you want more of like an intense red, leave it on for 10. I'm always intense red vibe, so I left it on for 10. This one did stain my hands a little, but very good on the hair. So you win some, you lose some. I think the treatment aspect for the O&M was okay. This one wasn't my favorite, but it did deposit a good amount of color. Next one I tried was the Revlon Professional Nutri Color Filter. It's actually what you see in my hair now. I used it yes yesterday. Monday was yesterday. I used it yesterday. Love the purpley red color. Easy to work through the hair. So this one sa says it should be used on washed or towel dried hair. Leave it on for three to 15 minutes, depending on how intense you want your red and then wash it off. It also has like little dosage things on the side, which again, I did not. I didn't use a recommended amount. I still love the color payoff. I loved how it hydrated my hair, but I still used a conditioner afterwards. I shampooed the hair, left this on for five minutes and then conditioned and it still turned out really great. Last but not least, Fabuloso. <laughs> Evo Fabuloso. Loso, Loso. This one. The purple red color boosting treatment. 
The purple one is everyone's favorite, I feel like. Everyone, yeah. everyone with blonde hair, their favorite. I'd use this instead of a conditioner because it deposits the pigment really well. It works well as like a treatment slash conditioner and you don't even have to put it in your hair for long. You can put it in for three to 20 minutes, but I believe I put, popped it in. Usually five minutes is my max that, you know, you wash your body, shave, etc. Didn't stain my hands, good time. I don't remember the smell, it's good. I'm pretty sure it did. Oh, look, hello. Oh yeah, it does smell delish. It smells like perfumey but sweet, sweet perfumey you would have used in high school. Oh, I really okay. like this one. My top two was, these two. Goldwell gave me a little look into like natural red. Quite easy to use and different. That's why I really liked it. The Evo, Evo Fabuloso, my favorite. I feel like it's a no brainer. I'm probably going to replace my conditioner with this, to be honest. Very good color payoff. Also like that the packaging is not easily stained too, so it's not weird. So these products all range around the $30 to $50 mark. The most expensive one being Mr. Smith at 50-ish. Evo Fabuloso is $45.25, more on the pricey end, but what? I can't believe we had the same favorite. Well, I can believe it. Yeah, it's the most popular. Yeah, it's just really freaking good. It's good.